Welcome Kingdom Kids, I'm Reverend Renee Jones, and I'm so glad that you've joined me for another exciting time in God's Word. Now let us go to God in prayer. Our Lord and our God, we thank you for another Sunday morning, another day to hear more and learn more of you. Now God, open our ears, our eyes, and our hearts that we will receive all that you would have us to know. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The scripture today is taken from the book of Ephesians. That's Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. And I'm reading from the New International Reader's Version, wherein these words are recorded. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Our memory verse for the month is God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. The title of today's lesson is This is Amazing Grace. Kids, I am so happy that you've joined us and for another month of learning about our Life Faith app. Merry Christmas to one and all. What? Christmas isn't until December. Well, that's true, but let's say this is Christmas in July. And for a brief moment, let's see what happens when it's Christmas time. As you know, this summer we are taking a closer look at faith. Sure, faith is what you can't see because of what you can see. Now, we can't see Jesus, that is true, but we can put our faith in him because we know who he is and we know what he's already done. We, when we focus on Jesus, we start to understand how good he is to us we realize that we can trust him completely. That, my friends, is a gift. Now, to kick off Christmas in July, this celebration, let's put pick up where we left off in God's big story. We're talking about what happened to the believers after Jesus died and came back to life and went to heaven. Today, we're gonna talk about Paul. Paul traveled around and shared the message of Jesus to people everywhere, all over the place. He also wrote a bunch of letters to encourage believers in different churches. Many of his letters became books of the Bible. One of Paul's letters was written to the group of people in the place called Ephesus. We call it the book of Ephesians. Let's read what part of it says. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Kid, I bet the Ephesian church really wanted and needed to hear that. I know there are times when I need to hear that for myself. You see, we all mess up. We make mistakes. We fail at things. We don't do the things we know we are supposed to do. And that can make us feel pretty clumsy and pretty crappy about ourselves at times. When we look at the people around us and all the great things that they're doing, we wish sometimes that we didn't mess up so much. We think, I wish I could do that as well as he does, or we think that she's always perfect at everything. It can seem like everyone else is always getting things right and they're never messing up. That can act, especially be seen sometimes even in the church. But the truth is, everyone messes up. Even though other people may seem to have everything all together and seem to do the right thing at all times, that's just not the case. No one is perfect except for who? You guessed it right again. Jesus, he was the only per perfect person to ever walk the earth. 
As for the rest of us, we all mess up. We feel like we have to fix things when we've done something wrong. So we don't ask for help and we don't let God fix anything. We try to do it ourselves. We might try to make up for things that we've done wrong. We can try to cover it up by doing good things, or we can try to hide it from others. We can try to do a lot of good things to make up for the bad things that we've done. But the truth is, none of that makes the bad things go away. Here's the really good news. It is not our job to fix what's wrong. That's why God sent his son, Jesus. We don't have to do everything perfectly to fit in. God loves us ex and accepts us for who we are, no matter what we have done or what we will do. We can't work to earn his love. See, everyone messes up, everyone. It's easy for us to think others are better than we are, but they aren't. We all mess up and we make mistakes. That's why God gave us the best gift ever when he sent his son, Jesus. Let's take another look at what Paul wrote in his letter, which happens to be our memory verse for the month. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Let's stop there. Salvation is God's gift. That means that when we put our trust in Jesus, God forgives us for all the wrong things that we have done or will ever do. When we put our trust in Jesus, we believe that he died on the cross to save us from our sins. He paid the sin price. He paid the price for every single sin that we have already committed as well as for those that we will commit in the future. Jesus did all the work of paying for our sins. We did nothing. That means that there's nothing we can do to earn God's love. And there's nothing we can do which will cause him not to love us. Jesus paid for our sin and made us right with God. And that is a free gift. Here's the bottom line. Jesus is a gift for everyone. He fixes the mess we've made and turns it into something beautiful. Of course, as we follow Jesus, we're going to mess up. When we do, we can say we're sorry and accept God's forgiveness that he has come through Jesus Christ. We should always try to live the way God wants us to live. We should always try to make the wise choice. We should always try to do the right thing. We should always do our best to treat others with love and kindness. But we don't do these things to earn something. We do those things because we already know how much God loves us every day. We can choose to live his way because we're so thankful that he sent his son to be our savior. Now, that's great news. And we must remember, Jesus is a gift for everyone. Can you say that with me? Jesus is a gift for everyone. Great job, kids. Let us pray. Dear God, Thank you for giving us the gift of salvation and forgiveness through Jesus. Thank you for making it a gift for everyone. Help us to remember that it's not something that we earn, but that you love us no matter what. Please forgive us when we mess up and help us to live your way every day. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Kids, Jesus is the one who allows us to have a right relationship with God. He is the greatest gift we could ever receive. Since the very beginning of God's big story, people were waiting for a savior. And at just the right time, God sent his son, Jesus. When Jesus died on the cross, he paid the price for our sins. He made a way so that everything could be right between us 
and God, and we can have a life with him forever. Remember, salvation is a free gift. God loves us, period. He made us. He has a good life plan for each and every one of us. There's nothing we can do that will make him love us any more or any less. He sent Jesus so that we would have a relationship with him that will last forever. Some of you here today have already made a decision to put your faith in Jesus. If you have, it is the greatest decision that you have ever or will ever have to make. Maybe you are still not sure and you're still trying to figure out what you will believe. That's great news. Every day you get an opportunity to discover more and more of how Jesus loves us and he is waiting for you to make the best decision ever. Amen? Amen. Remember to have your parents to sign you up for Vacation Bible School today. Today is the last day to sign up. See you next week. Bye.